Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Ross of the Guy with the Eye here. Just wanted to make a quick and easy video on telling you how you can basically do one of the most popular requested things when you're reviewing gear, maybe by yourself or by someone else, and this is really how you do it. It involves taking your phone and a stopwatch and the lens that you want to test its focus, autofocusing speed. So how do you do it? So as I said, it is very, very simple. And essentially what you're gonna do is just uh, open up your phone. So I'm gonna open up my iPhone. I'm gonna go into my stopwatch app, which you you know, you know can't really see here. But essentially what I'm gonna do is just hit start and autofocusing, well, I'm gonna get my friend to help me here. You hit start and autofocus. Uh, and essentially what you do is you have your friend hit start and then you uh, take your lens to two points. I like to take it to both sides of the lens, the infinity point and the furthest focusing point to see how quickly if it goes. Now, if you're using a zoom lens, say like a 70 to 200 millimeters, you go to different intervals to see how they compare to something else. This is a good way to test between, you know, a prime lens and a zoom lens, what focuses quicker, you know, in regards to what you're looking for in its range. So for example, once again, I have my stopwatch app here. I'm going to give this to my friend to uh, open up and, uh, to put this up on the side uh, and I'm going to get him to essentially um, hit start and we're going to go from the infinity end so you're going to see me step off real quick to take this photo so we're going to the infinity end um, make sure my card's clear all right let's do this now all right you ready so here we go one two and three so that picture coming up right now it should say 1.32 seconds, so that's a very, very, that's a very nice time for a focusing speed. Now, what if I go to one of the furthesting distance, and one of the, one of the lens I'm using, an example, is my Nikon 60 millimeter 2.8 macro lens. So, once again, I don't have a ton of lenses, I only have what I need, but I'm just showing you um, what it is right here. So now I'm gonna go to the furthest point. Um, just make sure you hit reset on that. You don't have to have an iPhone, you can have whatever you wanna use. An iPad is great, it's larger, it's a great source as well or whatever tablet that you're using. So once again, I'm gonna to go to my furthest focusing point here. I'm gonna step a little further back because it won't be as accurate if I'm as close. And we're gonna hit reset again, and we're gonna go. I accidentally hit two there. And the picture coming up on screen, you should see 2.18 seconds. So it's a little slower in regards to uh, it being w at its furthest length. And that happens a lot for a lot of lenses. But I really just wanted to show you that example of how you can test your focusing speed, how fast, how comparison uh, to whatever lens that you want to do against or, or how it's really done. This is how I do it. This is how I get my accurate information. Take a stopwatch, go to the furthest lengths, mess with some focal lengths uh, and focusing distances and go from there. As you've seen, the Nikon uh, pretty much up close is extremely fast, the 60 millimeter, but a little further back, it does take a little bit more time. Um, yes, it kind of depends on what camera you're using, what camera it is that you, know, you aren't using. I'm using with this, with, with this with the Nikon D700. It is an older technology, yes, but its autofocusing system uh, is also good as well. So it communicates properly with a lot of the uh, higher end lenses. So easy thing to do. If you guys have, if guys and girls have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. Eric Ross is the guy with the eye. Autofocusing speed, stopwatch, start, focus, click, boom, you have the proof, you have the results, and you can do it to your heart's extent.